Today, I go on some talk show. It'll be weird, though, because usually it's just me and a camera when I make my public announcements. But this, I'll be actually in the same room as the people I'm addressing, you know? I haven't been sleeping well recently. I'm bringing the captain of my castle guard, as well as my chief legislator, Madge, so that it'll be a little less awkward. I keep having bad dreams. Like, weird dreams. Always the same one. Wait, really, really? It's just that I don't want people to think I'm crazy. You, you know, I actually am crazy, and everyone in the world knows I'm crazy. But I'm still insecure, you know? I like weird things usually, but I like, I like dark, twisted, evil things. But this dream scares me. Like, what if it's prophetic or something? Can that happen? I don't want my keeping the populace in my grasp to rely completely on them thinking I'm sane enough to run the planet. I mean, I'm crazy. But I don't want them to stop liking that I'm crazy and then start another rebellion. I don't know why I'm telling any of you all this. It's none of your business. Go away! Hi, welcome back to Brandon with that interview. I'm your host, Lucy Kistler, and please welcome to the stage a very special guest ruler of the world, the universe, and the earth, Joe. Hey, hi, hello, welcome to the show. It's such an honor to have you. Hello. Thanks for having us. I'm glad that you feel it is an honor. It's something slightly less than an honor to be here. Okay, so I think we all know who you are, but just for those viewers who may not know, why don't you introduce yourself a little bit for us? I'm the captain of the Castle Guard. My code name is Sniper the Best. What is your real name? That's classified. Is it true you're from Mars? That is also classified. I am Madge. I'm the head of Joe's Council of Advisors and his chief legislator. Is it true that Joe is a figurehead puppet and you secretly control the government? What? Of course not. I think that's an insult to both of us. This is exactly what we would be saying if it were true, but it's absolutely not. Okay, then moving on. Yes, let's move on. I don't like this conversation. I thought I told you not to come. Why don't we ask you some uh, questions? Uh, Why do you want to know so much about us anyway? This is an interview talk show. It's my job to ask the questions. You see? So it's your job? Who are you selling this information to? Tell me! Sniper, we're on television. She sells information to the world, which we rule. No one watches television anymore. It's all on the internet. Okay, then we had some questions from our lovely viewers. Would you care to answer them? Of course. No. Of course. Okay, so what was your motivation for world domination? That's a good question. You know, I really think it was kind of a mix of a lot of things. Uh, entitlement, mostly. Uh, also, a general sense of being better than everyone else. And boredom. Those were really big parts of it. I just, I just really felt it was my destiny, you know? I once thought it was my destiny to date a guy named Chad. He left me. Um... Next question! This guy asks, are you really the ruler of the world, or are you just joking? Yes. I am the ruler of the world. Do you see people like Barack Obama in the news anymore? No. That rebel was dealt with. Are you going to rename every single country so that it has Joe in it? Like Japan, Mexico, Portugal, etc.? Well, if you recall, when I took over, uh, we disbanded all country borders and such, and it all became one Josevania. Although, the council hasn't been debating over how we're going to split up Josephine. For local law enforcement and taxation purposes, I'm in prefer of keeping the pre-existing country borders and just adding a Joe to their names would be an excellent touch. How do you feel on this issue, Joe? I don't care. Why do you think I have her? Next question. 
question. What is your favorite ice cream flavor? Chocolate peanut butter. It's sort of a toss-up between... <laughs> Breaking news! Less than an hour ago, in this very news building, the ruler of the world, Joe, and his two closest confidants were attacked during an interview with Elizabeth Pittsworth by an anonymous group we must assume to be terrorist brothers. The scene was later found home deserted, although it is believed that Joe and his entourage escaped. However, the whereabouts of them, as well as the attackers, and Lizzie and her crew are unknown. We will update you as we get more information. The government of this planet is brought to you in part by bananas. Definitely psycho.